or you are following by way of the, of the internet right now we are going to cry to the Lord for mercy that tonight may God show mercy to you and because of you may God show mercy to your family I want you in the next three minutes to cry like Bartimaeus cried in the Bible the Bible says he cried out the more son of David have mercy on me I want you to lift your voice and pray like you have lost your mind. Outside, pray. Make sure you are praying. Wherever you are, lift your voice and cry to him. Lift your voice and cry to him. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on my family. Have mercy on my life. That's why you are here. Sharabakato Robokosia Ramateke Pradeke Bosia. Seleke Prateke Pradeke Bosia. Sheke Preteko Proto no Bohosia. Leke Prada Soto Proteke Bai. Outside, please pray. Inside, pray. If you are following online, cry to him. Have mercy. Sarabakate berokosia tanamash. You are good, and your mercy is forever. Keep praying. Hallelujah. Shaka, 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 Shaka,
satisfy the testy soul you will bring deliverance to all the burdens and the yoke that is on your children and let your name be glorified Jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah are you set tonight those of you aside if you are happy to be in this place and you know God will visit you I'd like you to shout a big hallelujah I mean those outside shout a bigger hallelujah. Amen. We are going to do one thing before we sit down. And please, this is a miracle service. I'd like you to really, really pay attention and adhere to every instruction that is given. It is your obedience that ensures the miracle. From last night till this morning, this has been on my heart and I want to do it. And it's strange because I've never done something like this before. 
And you know when you say the truth in church, people will say you are talking about them. But let me just do as I'm led. I've preached before in one of our miracle service factors that hinder answers to prayers. Please listen carefully. One of our miracle service I've preached about that before. Two or three of them are outstanding. Number one, sin. In Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 to 2, the Bible says, The hand of the Lord is not short to deliver you, neither is his ears deaf to hear you. He said, But your iniquity, your sin, has separated you from God. Another thing that can hinder answers to prayers is unforgiveness. In Mark chapter 11 verse 25, the Bible says, When we stand to pray, if you have anything against your neighbor, it says that you will forgive him so that your heavenly father will forgive you. In another place, Jesus even said that if you brought a gift to offer to God in the house of God and you have a grudge against your neighbor, you keep the gift there, go back, make peace with your neighbor and then return back to offer it. And then number three is what I call issues of the heart. Bitterness, envy, malice, hatred, all of these things are very strong resistance and hindrance to answers of prayers. In fact, they can resist you more than the devil. Because it's a thing of the heart. I'm going to give you five minutes. If you are here, inside and outside, and somebody has offended you, and you have not forgiven the person, go to the person and tell the person I've forgiven you. Listen. If you are here and you have, if you have offended somebody, go to the person and ask the person for mercy. If the person is not here, take your phone, call the person, tell the person that pastor said. Are you hearing me? I've been from last night till this afternoon, it's been strong on my mind. I want every one of us to receive today. I want every one of us to receive. I want you to clear your heart so that you can be as light as possible. Now, I didn't say make the place rowdy, and this is not joke. This is not a joking matter, okay? I want us to be serious and be reverential about it. Like I said, I've never done this in any of our service. So, if you are here, and please, protocol and ushers, please be very attentive so that uh, people's valuables are in place, okay? If you have anything against anybody in your heart, if the person is not here, go outside take your phone call the person make peace don't go and start claiming right are you hearing me did you hear what i said i'm serious if you are here and you have offended your wife or you have offended your husband go and ask for mercy now before we sit down because god wants to do something today i pray that today everybody will live with a testimony are you hearing what i'm saying this is probably one of the reasons why i came late today so I want us to do that very quick in five. Don't go around and laugh. Be very serious. This we are, we, The presence of God is here. I want us to be as serious and as matured as we can be. Everybody here is an adult. Okay? Do that and then come back to your seat. And then we'll proceed with the service. While you are doing that, I'm going to be worshipping God. So you can go ahead. Your time starts now. If you need to go out and call the person, if the person is here, go and speak to the person. If you need to go out and call, and nobody should look at another person. If you're not talking to anybody, face your front. I didn't say sit down, stand. Please. And I didn't say go home. Somebody can be offended at this and go. Now, if you do that, you just wasted your time. You came here for God to visit you. Are you hearing me? When we go, when, if you are invited to a shrine, you will do everything the Baba says. Now you are in the presence of God who made the native doctor. Alright? I didn't say go home. Do it quickly. Go and meet the person. And don't, if you're, nobody's talking to you or you're not talking to anybody, face me. Don't look at anybody and judge anybody. Take your phone. This, this instruction may be for just one person. Take your phone, call that person. You are here, you are married, and you and your husband are not in good terms. Go and settle now. Otherwise, forget about submitting prayer requests. Nothing is going to happen. From last night till this morning, this has been on my heart. 
please let's do it very quickly as matured people i know some of you are, are offended i know you are hurt but i want you to let go of that for a greater reward that is coming today all right forgiveness is not a sign of weakness it's strength you need to be as light as possible so that god can visit you it will be a waste of time that we are here for hours and because of a little offense because of a little offense so please let's do that as quick as we can and then return back standing at your seat and then i'll tell us the next thing to do please touch this mic for me this is not the sound please help me to receive glory honor and power for thou hast created all things and for thy blessings they are all there's a woman here you are dark chocolatey dark in complexion somebody offended you I'm seeing a lot of offense in your heart. Go and do what I'm asking you to do. Amen. Go and do what I'm asking you to do. Go and release them and come back for God to visit you. You are a woman, you are a lady, you are dark. Alright? You have a lot of offenses in your heart. Especially with people close to you. Go and forgive them let them go and come back and i want you to learn that every time you come before the presence of god the state of your heart determines how you receive your heart needs to be as light as possible are you hearing me offenses bitterness envy malice hatred unforgiveness all of these things can choke your heart it's impossible to really claim that you are spiritual and carry these things at heart. I don't need to go over the scriptures again and again. As I'm talking, there are about 60% now. I've not even done it. Go and do it now. You have, the, you have the opportunity. Don't wait for me to pick you by prophecy. Okay? This is the first time I'm coming to this service this late. So, if because of you, God has been talking to me since last night, go and just settle your own and come back. There's never a day I will come and stand here and preach with offense in my heart against anybody. It's, there's no need. There's no need. Human beings are always human beings. They will always offend. They have weaknesses. When you understand that, you will learn to live with forgiveness. Peter asked Jesus, how long, how much will I forgive my brother if he offends me? He says, seven times. Jesus says, 70 times seven. That's 490 times in a day. How many hours do we have in a day? What Jesus was simply saying is prepare forgiveness before the offense comes. Are you hearing me? We want to do business with God tonight. So go and clear it out and come back. Hallelujah. Are we done? All right, let's clap our hands and give Jesus praise. Amen. Don't sit down yet. There's somebody here. You on WhatsApp. You had an altercation with somebody on WhatsApp recently. You quarreled with somebody on WhatsApp. Your number starts with plus two three four seven zero three now enter that whatsapp and forgive the person i know what i'm saying don't make me call the remaining numbers you had an altercation with somebody on whatsapp you people quarreled whether you are right and the person is wrong or you are wrong and the person is right post two three four seven zero three that's how your number begins Go on that WhatsApp and apologize to the person. Amen. Amen. Type it. 
Say, I've forgiven you. It's all right between us. I want God to touch me. Are you excited to be here tonight? It's miracle service. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Please be seated in the presence of God. Briefly, we'll get to the word. And after that, we'll stand and pray. Tonight is going to be a long night. There's so much that God wants to do. I want to salute every one of us for coming. Those of us that are outside, I really appreciate and acknowledge your presence. Please, I know it may be uncomfortable for you there. Just try, to try your best to be part of the service. There's no difference between those that are in the hall and those that are outside, okay? As long as you can hear me or you can see me, you are part of this service. The same presence that is in this hall is the same at the overflow and even online. So make sure that nothing distracts you where you are. Don't get offended by anything. If you've not gotten a seat to sit down, just be patient. More seats are coming. Just make sure you focus your heart on God and be ready to receive. And those of us that are inside, make sure you are part and parcel of this service. Amen and amen. Once more, I welcome you to the miracle service of the month of March. Second in its kind for this year. Yes, we can celebrate the Lord for that. Amen. We want to thank the Lord for what he did in February. The February's miracle service was amazing. We saw the hand of God and we thank him for the things that he will do. I know that there are still many more testimonies coming from that service. But you see, the God that we serve is the God that is all sufficient. It is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he moved yesterday, he is well able to move today. Amen and amen. I want to appreciate God for everyone that is here. I also want to appreciate a couple of persons amongst us here. Pastor Sunday, Aimo, Foni is here. Amen. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. Please, let's give him a big God bless you. Thank you, sir. Amen. Pastor Sunday is the Tekan Youth President, EYN. Amen. So glad to have you here. New Matek celebrate God very well for his servants. Amen. Amen. I also want to acknowledge the presence of uh, Reverend Sunday Adi, the chaplain of St. Stephen's Military Church. Thank you so much, sir. Amen and amen. Pastor Prince Will is here, my elder brother. Please help me. Amen. Thank you so much, sir, for being here. Now, let me just make a couple of announcements and then we'll get to the word. Uh, because if I don't say it now, I may forget because there's a lot of things in my heart that God wants to do. Um, just so that we are aware, next Sunday service is going to be a prayer and power service. Amen. Yes, the 10th of March. It's going to be a prayer and power service. The venue is going to be at Meduguri International School. Normal time, 3 p.m. And then after that Sunday, we'll come back here for the remaining Sundays in the month of March. So please make sure you beware of this information. Um... The Lord has been laid this in my heart since last year and I feel led to announce it to us so that we can prepare ahead of time. We are going to be having an all-night worship and prayer meeting. I thought you would clap better. Amen. An all-night worship and prayer meeting. The theme of the meeting is enthroned. Now, just hold on before you clap. Um, 
this meeting like i said god has been talking to me about it since last year uh, so i want us to just take notice of it somewhere in the year we are going to have this meeting it's going to be an all-night service where we'll raise an incense of prayer and worship we'll have um, some music ministers amongst us and in this land for that we're going to raise up an incense to god on behalf of this land okay i'm believing god that certain gates that have been closed will be open amen and amen uh, there's no date yet but just be prepared maybe it may come this month maybe next month but as soon as we are ready we'll let you know so i want you to prepare for that meeting um, we'll put an anticipation flyer online so that we can prepare it's going to be an awesome time in the presence of god amen and amen let's get to the word galatians chapter five, chapter three i beg your pardon Galatians chapter 3 Galatians chapter 3 from verse 1 verse 2 and verse 5 you know when the Holy Spirit was given by God to the church when God gave the Holy Spirit to the church he gave everything please pay attention yeah okay inside outside please make sure you pay your undivided attention when god gave us the holy spirit he gave us everything that's the reason why at salvation the holy spirit comes to live in an individual the bible says in ephesians chapter 1 that the holy spirit is the seal of our inheritance is the seal of promise God has placed the Holy Spirit in us as his seal upon us that we have been redeemed and the Holy Spirit will remain in us until we experience total transformation that is spirit soul and body at new birth your spirit is saved and recreated by the Holy Spirit that comes to dwell in you and then when you become a believer your mind your soul experiences consistent transformation through the word of god and then eventually a time will come when your body will become part of that transformation when we will change the bible says in first corinthians 15 that this mortality will put on immortality that these corrupted bodies will be exchanged for an incorruptible body at that point your entire being has been totally transformed it is at that point that we will get to be with the lord and live with him forever so the job of the holy spirit is to remain in us as god's seal as god's mark that this one has been redeemed by god and will soon be totally transformed but when god gave us the holy spirit aside from the work of redemption he gave us everything the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and in verse 9 and 10, The eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man, the things that God has prepared for them that love him. But the Bible says in verse 10 that God has revealed these things to us through his spirit. And then in verse 12, the Bible says that we have received the spirit not of the world, but the spirit that is of God, that we might freely know that which has been given that which has been given when you were saved you were saved and brought into the kingdom to experience the fullness of the treasures that god has in store for his sons and his daughters this fullness is captured in the word grace now it is the holy spirit that brings us into the revelation and into the experience of all that god has made available for us by grace part of those things are healing sanctification deliverance prosperity and every other thing you think we can enjoy in the kingdom it is the job of the holy spirit to bring you into the revelation and bring you into the experience of these things that's why i said when god gave us the holy spirit he gave us everything now in galatians chapter 3 paul was writing to the galatian church from verse 1 verse 2 and verse 5 
a very interesting thing i want to bring out and then we'll journey a bit in the world and then stand up to pray it says all oh, foolish galatians who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes jesus christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified i think it's a little bit light still touch it a bit he said this only i want to learn from you did you receive the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith and then in verse 5 he says therefore he who supplies the spirit there's something called the supply of the spirit we are coming back to this scripture go to philippians chapter 1 verse 19 there's something called in the kingdom there's something called the supply of the spirit this is a miracle service so i want to explain this so that our hearts can be open and our faith can be robust enough to receive from god you can't receive what you don't understand are you hearing what i'm saying he says for i know that this will turn out for my deliverance through your prayer and the supply of the spirit so what was going to orchestrate my deliverance was a combination of your prayer and the supply of the spirit the supply of the spirit is god's way of releasing to us spiritual resources spiritual abilities the spiritual capacity for those things that are possible with god to become possible with men so if god will ever do anything on earth he will do it using spiritual resources that exist in him everything that we believe god for is possible with god but those things the bible calls them spiritual blessings they are resources but they are spiritual whether it is the power of god whether it is healing whether it is the wisdom of god everything you need to function in the kingdom to experience the grace of god in its fullness in your life the bible calls them spiritual blessings so there has to be a system by which they are translated into this realm so we can enjoy it if somebody is deaf in their ear from birth and all of a sudden after prayer that ear pops open what has happened there is that there has been a supply of the spirit of god a supply of spiritual power that was needed to confront the situation of deafness so that that person can use the ear as god created it the bible calls it the supply of the spirit every time you are stuck or you are experiencing limitations in the natural you need something higher than the natural you need something supernatural you need something that is spiritual something that is above you to come as a form of remedy or a ransom to you in that situation you need something that can break yokes something that can remove burdens something that can open impossible doors what you need the bible calls it the supply of the spirit that somebody came to this service and they come from a family respectively speaking that is plagued with poverty how you know that somebody is plagued with poverty is that everything they do nothing prospers this is a spiritual siege that is mounted on that family by the gates of hell to frustrate the works of their hands to frustrate their competence their intelligence to see that nothing they do will ever amount to prosperity to see that nothing they do will amount to a suitable value that can be exchanged for them to get into wealth what that person needs is a supply of the spirit because the bible says everything that is hidden in god and made available for us the bible says these things are revealed to us by the spirit so at any time you enjoy any of the bounties of heaven what you are enjoying at that state is the supply of the spirit now back to galatians chapter 3 verse 5 the bible says he that supplies the spirit to you for for today for some of you the supply of the spirit will come to bring healing to your bodies 
in fact in this service there are people with visible scars you have a condition in your body that has a visible scar not only will god heal you that scar will disappear yeah. hear what i'm saying in fact before we stand up to pray there's somebody here there is a scar in your body that will visibly disappear you need healing it's a supply of the spirit you need deliverance you need the hand of god to confront the powers of hell that has that is militating against your family against your destiny it's the supply of the spirit you need a breakthrough in your career you need a breakthrough in your job you need a breakthrough in your academics or marital settlement it's the supply of the spirit or perhaps you came here hungry in your spirit hungry for another dimension of god thirsty in your soul for the move of god you want to experience god on another level what you need is the supply of the spirit and so the bible says he that supplies the spirit to you and works miracles among you this is still possible by the supply of the spirit he said does he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith so it takes the hearing of faith for you to come into the supply of the spirit what is the hearing of faith the bible says in romans chapter 10 and in verse 17 that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god this is a hearing with understanding this is a hearing not about god but a hearing that brings you into the fullness of the knowledge of god this is the hearing that exposes you to who god is this is the hearing that reveals a dimension of god to you that swallows every impossibility around you this is a hearing that brings you into the consciousness the awareness the understanding and the consciousness of god his unlimited supply of power his ability to bring to pass his word concerning you his ability to bring an end to shame to reproach and to anything that misrepresents god in your life it's called the hearing of faith this is not the kind of hearing that you get by just listening once to a sermon no it's a hearing that brings you into acquaintance an experience of god and a hearing that transports you into a realm in the spirit where you experience a dimension of god you experience god in his power a hearing that brings you into the practicality of the power and the grace of god the bible calls it the hearing of faith now you see faith is sponsored by an understanding you can't just most most christians claim to have faith but the reason why their faith does not produce is because when you check what they call faith in the lens of scripture please follow me we'll soon be standing up to pray but your faith needs to be built up by this little sermon that i'm bringing to you but when you check according to scripture what they call faith you discover that what they call faith is just wishes faith is not a wish faith is a reality that rests on an understanding that you have about god the bible says in hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 that by faith is the substance of things hoped for if it is a substance it means it's a reality that you can touch you can interact with you can connect with the evidence of things not seen but the reason why many people call what they call faith and it doesn't get the job done it doesn't produce for them is because their faith does not have a substance it does not furnish conviction in them because it's not rooted on, the on an understanding in verse 3 of hebrews 11 the bible says by faith we understand that the words were framed by faith we understand so faith will always rest on an understanding you have that understanding is a spiritual revelation that is revealed to you you know understanding is received it's not attained human beings think that you attain understanding 
that's why it is possible for you to read a book and not understand because understanding is not attained by just reading understanding is received psalms 119 verse 130 the entrance of your word giveth light it giveth understanding if understanding is given that means it is received so you find yourself reading the bible reading one chapter again and again and you are not seeing anything that is because the understanding has been hidden from you you need to outsource that understanding from a realm that is higher than the intellectual mind so faith will always rest on an understanding so if you say i have faith for finances it means there is something about god you understand something about his ability something about his power that you understand that has furnished conviction in your heart that regardless of weather or season because of that conviction you know that god is able to produce that god is able to bring you into wealth that god is able to prosper you not because you wish it or because you imagine it but because you have an understanding an understanding can be exported there is an understanding you have about god you can export it to another individual and when they walk in keeping with what you have told them they will see the same result that's why the bible says jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever the bible says if you read that scripture is hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 if you read verse 7 which comes before verse 8 the bible says remember those who brought the word of god to you he said whose faith follow considering their conversation king james translation the word conversation means manner of life they brought the word of god to you the bible says consider their lifestyle there is a way they walked with god there were things about god they knew that made them produce the results that they produce in fact hebrews 11 2 says by it the elders obtained a good report there is something about god they understand that gave them a good report it gave them an understanding so if you take the understanding of god you have in a particular area you can export it to somebody you can give it to a person and like a mathematical formula if they apply it they will see the result. that's when you know you have faith the bible calls it the hearing of faith galatians 3 verse 5 it says he that supplies the spirit to you and works miracles amongst you does he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith so for me to see god move in my life there is a faith that must come to me based on hearing hearing that is with understanding hearing that has captured a revelation of god it is on this that my faith is built up that means what you hear matters a lot as a matter of fact whilst you are seated right now in this service what you are hearing from what i'm saying will determine what you will receive today we can all be seated like this and hear different things the Bible spoke of 12 spies that were sent to Canaan to spy the land. They saw the same thing, but they had different things. Ten of them said that land is a good land, oh, filled with fruits, filled with all kinds of good things. He said, but we can't enter there because there are giants there. But two had something different. Two of them, Joshua and Caleb, had what we call the hearing of faith. And because of that, Joshua and Caleb said, we are able to conquer them. They saw the giants as stepping stones. The same way the entire army of Israel saw Goliath as an impossible hindrance. But David some, saw him as a ticket to a reward. David asked, what will be given to the man that brings down this man? David did not sit down, sit down to consult and say, this guy, where are we going from here? The Bible says for 40 days, Goliath came and challenged everybody, including Saul, who was a giant on his own. Remember that the Bible says that Saul, shoulder high, was taller than all the men of Israel. That's the person that should confront Goliath. He was in his tent. And then when the small boy came to confront, the giant was trying to advise him away. Have you been in a place in life where 
you are believing God for something and supposed spiritual people are telling you that it's not possible. By that interaction, they are no longer spiritual. Spirituality is not by speaking in tongues. Spirituality is your, what your hearing of faith can produce. David said, what will be given to the one that kills? That means we are not talking about whether I can or not. He said, when I kill this guy, what, what would they give me? So somebody can be seated here tonight and say, well, let's just enjoy the service and finish. If I have the opportunity, I will see the man of God and go. Somebody can be seated and say, until I see the man of God, my case cannot be settled. But somebody can be somewhere, perhaps at the end of the overflow, and say, just because I'm on this ground, my problems are leaving me. It's called the hearing of faith. What you hear will determine what you receive. Proximity is not what sponsors faith. Are you hearing me? I will soon show you in the scripture. It's called the hearing of faith. Mark chapter 5 verse 21 to 29. Very long scripture but I want to summarize it and pray. Mark chapter 5 from verse 20, 21 to, 20, to 29. Or rather, let me start from verse 25. Because it's very long. The Bible says, Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years. Just like there are people in this place with conditions that have stayed for years. It's almost as if that problem has obtained permanent residency in your life. This night, it will be evicted by the power of God. I didn't hear your amen. Back to the scripture and had suffered many things from many physicians the word physicians there actually means native doctors are you hearing what i'm saying she had gone to seek for solution from hospitals to malams to to all kinds of things the Bible says she had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. I read it in one translation and it was so amazing. The translation said that the doctors had eaten all her money. They had taken everything from her. I'm serious. Read it in the, I think it's the Living Bible translation or so. Let's go back. Let's, read, let's, let's continue reading. Instead of growing better, she grew worse with her condition. So probably you are here, you have prayed, you have fasted, the problem is still there. You have sown seeds, you have laid sacrifice, you have made vows, your hands have been laid on you, oil has been poured on you, water has been poured on you. It remains for them to pour salt. You've tried and exhausted every possible spiritual exercise. But you have rather grown worse. Such is your case this night. Look at this. The Bible says when she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. At this point, it is important to know what she heard. For a woman that had the issue of blood, because of that flow of blood, she had an order that was constantly around her. She was unclean. Ceremonially, according to the Jewish culture, when you have a ceaseless flow of blood, you are unclean. You will have to be isolated for several days. And when, when the blood is gone, you bath yourself all kinds of bathing. And then you offer all kinds of sacrifices to be clean. So this is a woman who naturally was ostracized from society. And she had lived like that for 12 years. It is not possible that she would just hear Jesus is in town and run there. Somebody who has lived in shame and reproach for 12 years. It was more than just the name Jesus she heard. There was something about Jesus she heard. That this would be a woman who was going through depression. Probably at this point she had contemplated suicide. Maybe she had even bought the rope she would use to hang herself. Just like many years ago, somebody brought a prophet to us with rope. A prophet with rope. He sold his television and used it to buy rope. You have not seen depression, though. No? I'm telling you. 
this one is by spirit he sold his television true story sold his television bought rope with it and was going home to hang himself it was at the shop where he bought the rope that somebody saw him and grabbed him and brought him to the house with rope a prophet in fact months later when i saw this guy ministering and prophesying the anointing was so strong i couldn't believe that this is the person that wants to hang himself after what happened to elijah jezebel frustrated him there's a way the devil can frustrate people with conditions health afflictions you have swallowed all kinds of drugs you have gone for all kinds of procedures there's a kind of oppression that the enemy can stage over a family that can drive people to a point of wishing that they were dead elijah said i'm not better than my father take my life that was a prophet who called down fire in the previous chapter i'm telling you there's a way satan can drive your mind crazy to a point where you wish that death is better than where you are or to a point where you wish that your yesterday is where you were living in and the bible says never you say that yesterday is better than today so just so you know that when you get to that point that condition is spiritual there's this there's a force behind it the idea was not just to torment your body it was to torment your soul but if you are here today the prince of peace is arising on your behalf the bible says to you that fear my name the son of righteousness shall arise god is arising on on behalf of somebody tonight back to the reading the bible says when she heard about jesus she came behind him and touched his garment for she said if only i may touch his clothes i shall be made well and immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction this woman heard about jesus in other words whoever she heard from took time to explain to her who jesus was the bible says in acts 10 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good jesus was not just an ordinary teacher or rabbi he was a different rabbi he didn't just teach the scriptures he had authority over spirits he had authority over situations he had authority over disease the bible will say that he casted out spirit with a word what kind of a man was this that people would touch him and literally be healed what kind of a man with is this there was no limit to the power that he carried a leper met him one time and said lord if you are willing so it's not about whether you have the power or not if you are willing you can make me heal and jesus said be healed another time 10 lepers met him they cried to him have mercy on us he said go and show yourself he didn't even say come let me lay hands on you say go and show yourself to the priest this woman took time to listen again to the curriculum vitae of jesus somebody may have done a good job preaching to her all that jesus had done it was this hearing that built faith in her for her to leave her house leave her depression leave her frustration and then go into the crowd this is somebody who have avoided public meetings for many years where we had bonky of breast memory will come to do crusade in africa that's when you see native doctors in the bush all the ones that tied your family they'll come out with the things they used to tie the family they'll come out like that with their charm who told them to bring their charm there's something they've heard about that man that's why i started by talking about the hearing of faith it is a, a hearing that brings you into an understanding listen when you understand god at a level bar your convictions can never be twisted even when you pray and you don't see the results you know this is the formula he said they that do know their god shall be strong and do exploit the hearing of faith and the bible says she came and touched the garment of jesus tonight there is something about jesus i want you to hear so that you can touch him with your faith jesus didn't even give her attention she only touched his garment her hearing had told her that this man walked with so much power that even materials around him could communicate that power 
she had an understanding that anything that touched Jesus carried the same power that was in him and when placed side by side with situations the situations will hear and go she had a very robust understanding about Jesus and just a touch do you know that if your faith can be built up tonight to know that there is nothing impossible God can do if your faith can be built up tonight to believe that God is greater than that situation you came with if your faith is built up tonight to believe that all you need is just a touch from God nothing more that you are just a touch away from a breakthrough that you are just his name away from a miracle do you know that Jeremiah 32 verse 27 the Bible says I am the God of all flesh God is speaking he said is there anything too hard for me and then God replied through the prophet in verse 17 of that chapter he said behold you have made the heavens and the earth with your great power and your outstretched arm he said and there is nothing too hard for you if that is what you are hearing in your spirit this night then get ready for a miracle that there is nothing too hard forget about how long you have lived with that you are you have lived with that condition that there is nothing too hard don't get too used to a problem and then when jesus the master over situations and circumstances shows up it becomes difficult for you to divorce from that problem many of you what you are hearing in your mind now is the report of the doctor many of you you are so infatuated with that report you are so conscious with that report that you are already preparing to leave here and go to the hospital tomorrow for the surgery you are already prepared to leave here and go to the hospital tomorrow for a scan what are you going to scan again if there were 10 doctors to see you and on that line there were consultants and professors of medicine and the last person was and maybe the first person on the line was Jesus guess what take the other nine away you don't need them if you had ten doctors lined up and on that line from number two to number ten there are professors and consultants and whatever and then you have Jesus of Nazareth who didn't go to school but the one who heals every situation for me take away the remaining doctors somebody else who has money will need their service If all I say is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. If all I say is Jesus, Jesus, that's more than enough. Listen to this. If all you have is Jesus, 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 this more than enough. If who can help is Jesus, it's more than enough. If I have ten doctors and the number one on the line is Jesus, the nine can go home and rest. If I have a financial situation and there are five people that can solve my problem, number one is Jesus, the four can go. Are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> There's nothing else in addition to him you need. Not a handkerchief. Thank God for the ministry of mantles and all of those things. <laughs> but you see, what makes those things relevant is the God that instructs that they are used and the faith of the one that believes the God. Jesus, they asked him in John chapter 6, what shall we do that we may do the works of God? He said, all you need to do is believe in him who was sent. Maybe they, were, they thought Jesus would bless water and give to them. Maybe they thought Jesus would tear his clothes and share for them. Say, if you need healing, take for 10,000 naira. 10,000 is no longer money in Nigeria now. Abi? 
Say you need breakthrough for your career. 30,000. You need this one. Buy this one. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> Jesus said, you don't need all that. All you need is believe the one God has sent. Just like God sent me today. And all he sent me to do is that with this mouth as they open, somebody's destiny will open up for good. Yeah. Believe me. All that God is borrowing from me is my mouth. That's how powerful he is. Just that you are here and you are under the sound of this voice. That's all you need. Say there's nothing too hard. There is nothing too hard. Don't try to complicate the problem with your doubt. There is nothing too hard. Absolutely nothing. Last month in the miracle service, somebody who had died in the hospital. I don't know whether they called them or I don't know just by prayer as the person came back to life then you are seated here and you think god will bypass you how can you be in this environment where the power of god is present beware that we become like the people in the town of jesus in nazareth the bible says he could do no mighty works among them this is jesus who was so powerful jesus who people only would want to touch him and they were healed of whatever condition the bible says he marveled at their unbelief what kind of unbelief was this that even me jesus could do no no mighty works that's how powerful unbelief can be don't try to complicate the situation with your unbelief it's okay that i will see you after the service but listen you don't need to see me before that situation is attended to if you need to see me it means that you came here for me but if you came here because of jesus the bible calls him the lord and christ the one who is here now and who is outside who is with somebody following from germany from south africa from kenya he's right there with you that's the reason why he died and rose again so that his presence can be unlimited he can be everywhere at the same time regardless of time zone and he can do the same things that he would have done if he was alive let's go back to the book of mark and finish up the reading the bible says and the flow of blood dried up verse 34 you know the remaining part of the story when she came before jesus and told him the whole truth in verse 34 jesus said to her he said your faith has made you whole that faith was because of what she heard the bible says in one of those verses that she had heard for she had heard and because of that hearing of faith she was able to receive her healing and jesus said your faith not my hands your faith not because i prayed for you your faith not because i gave you blessed water thank god for those things but your faith not because i gave you my suit and you wore it your faith not because you are seated very close to the pulpit your faith has made you well tonight all you need is your faith and let that faith be able to see that Jesus is about to ride into your life and bring an end to the storms that the enemy has raised against you Jesus is so powerful that he has many ways on how he can calm a storm if he's not speaking to the storm he can walk through the storm he can simply sleep in the storm <laughs> that's how powerful Jesus is last scripture and we pray acts chapter 14 from verse 7 to 10 in the town of lystra paul and barnabas went to preach the gospel and the bible says in verse 8 about a man that was crippled from his mother's womb that means he has never walked before he has never used his leg before in other words he doesn't even have the picture in his mind on how he would walk it's not like he was walking before and all of a sudden he became sick he has there is no picture in his mind his imagination could not capture that he used his legs as far as he was concerned all his legs were good for was to render him an, a handicap so that people will have pity on him and give him money and you know that's how wicked the devil is he he makes people so handicapped with situations so that all that is good about their life is so that people can pity them and i'm afraid that many believers have accepted that feeling of pity for them when you show them pity 
that is the best suiting for their pain that's how bad the situation has deteriorated to that's how low the devil has downgraded them to that people will only tell you sorry and you'll be happy with it i didn't come to tell you sorry today i came to tell you to rise and be healed i came to tell you to rise from poverty and be wealthy i came to tell you that that gate that has been shut against your destiny by the power of he that raised christ from the dead that gate can be opened today he that did that. and you and your family will come out of that grave he said in ezekiel chapter 37 he said i will open your graves my people and i will cause you to come out from your graves and you shall live says the lord i didn't come to tell you sorry rise and be healed the bible says he listened to paul verse 9 and verse 10 of acts chapter 14 and while paul was preaching he heard paul as paul was speaking perhaps paul was speaking about jesus talking about the miracles that he did and how that ultimately he sacrificed himself on the cross so that his blood and his death could be the number one and the only you know there's something called one and only uh -huh. that his blood and his death will be the one and only cure for sin the one and only price for death the one and only price for the deliverance of mankind there are not too many things that God needs to bring an end to your situation and while this man heard Paul speaking please keep the scripture while he heard Paul speaking the Bible says Paul perceived Paul perceived that he had faith so you keep hearing and hearing and hearing till faith is built you keep hearing till you come into the understanding and all of a sudden you can visualize it you can see it in your imaginations all of a sudden the structure of that problem is taken out of your mind the reality of that problem is taken into the shadows and what you can see is the miracle before you such was the case of the man as he listened to Paul and when Paul saw that he, he had faith to be healed Paul said rise on your feet and instantly the man leaped up the Bible didn't say that Paul took him and raised him up the Bible says he jumped up how did he know that for you to walk you must stand up you must leap up is because his hearing brought him to an understanding and that understanding created faith in his heart he could see it that's why what you hear tonight is very important and I think you've heard everything you need to hear there is nothing that God cannot do when his hand is stretched forth the Bible says in Exodus chapter 15 I believe verse 7 or verse 8 the Bible says your right hand oh God is glorious in power and with your right hand you have crushed in pieces Ah, what a powerful God the Bible says with your right hand alone you have crushed in pieces the enemy he didn't even appear it was his hand many of the problems we see around us God will not even as much as leave his throne for some of you it may just be the dispatch of an angel to your family that as we are talking right now that the Lord will just release an angel from heaven and all the powers of your father's house will come under judgment this night that as we are speaking right now that the hand of god will, be, will descend on your family and every strong man that has become a an altar for darkness to reign will be cut off the bible says once an angel was released and 180,000 people were killed your faith needs to see how powerful god is we have dwelt too much in the problem that is becoming difficult for you to see that God can bring you out of that limitation at no cost. At no cost. Somebody came for prayer one time, finished praying a very simple prayer. And the, the person said, Man of God, is that all? I said, Yes. He said, Give me your water. I said, You don't need my water. How did God create the earth? With Ragolis water? What was the raw material? He spoke Psalms 33 verse 9 for he spoke by the what if I say by the word of the Lord yes for he spoke and it was done 
he commanded and he stood. That's all he needs. That's how powerful this God is. Jesus said, all authority and power has been given to me. You need to understand when the Bible calls him Lord, Lord means owner. Lord means master. It means creator. He can summon that devil that is disturbing your family and say, okay, your time is over. Leave and never return. That's how Jesus prayed for people. He said, come out of him and enter him no more. Even if I die and leave this earth, don't in your lifetime enter that family. Not in this generation, not in the next generation. When God brings deliverance, it is permanent. When he brings healing, it is permanent. All that the devil can give to you are short-lived, 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 uh, uh, what do you call it now? Short-lived or temporal solutions. That's why I, I cry when somebody is going to a native doctor, going to a malam. You are going to the devil for what the devil cost. Some of us, that's how we landed into the problem. You were born in a family with all kinds of problems and then your parents went to a native doctor. And what did they do? They took away the spirit that caused that problem and put in another spirit with another problem. No matter how pain I am, if tomorrow I fall down and I can't walk with my legs, never you take me to a mala. It's, it's honorable that I die with that infirmity than go and seek the devil. How can I call on your name and end up in shame? No way, no way. How can I call on your name and end up in shame? No way. Still bow before a man. No way. No. For you are, you are my God. You are, you are, you are my God. Say you are, you are, you. After all, the Bible says, by it, by faith, the elders obtained a good report. Not that they obtained result, they obtained a report. That heaven stood for these ones and said they lived with their convictions. If I fall down paralyzed tomorrow, never you go to a mala. I'd rather die with that affliction. And it can never happen. You know why? The Bible says, for I have been crucified with Christ. Listen. <laughs> the reason why I can challenge demons any day, any time, and go and have a sound sleep is because the Bible says, I have been crucified with Christ. That means I died. He said, not I that live, but Christ that lives in me. Unknown, unknowingly to the devil, Jonathan is no longer alive. What you are seeing is just the body of Jonathan. Jonathan died with Jesus on the cross. Was buried with him in baptism according to Romans 6 verse 4. And the Bible says that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, you will walk in the newness of life. You see this body, what you are seeing is just body. It is Christ that lives in me. And Satan cannot attack a body that Christ lives in five broad cannot live in a body that Christ lives in it gets more interesting Colossians chapter 3 in verse 3 and 4 it says for you were dead and your life was hid with Christ in God so attack God first finish him kill him attack Jesus who is Lord and Christ finish him kill him I'm sure in Jamaica will be looking at you then when you finish with all of them, you can come for Jonathan. So when I stand and challenge altars that are older than me, hey, and they leave, it's not me they are seeing, no. What they are seeing is the authority that I'm under. Yes, sir. And I came today to challenge every stronghold around your life. Yeah. Right in your seated position, 
I want you to command everything that does not represent God in your life to live while you are seated. He said, For God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Exercise your authority in that name. Exercise your authority in that name. Five God, leave. Poverty, your time is up. Every ugly situation that does not look like God, this is the time to leave. This is the time to expire. He said, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and let the King of glory come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Everything that does not look like God in your life must fall like a pack of cards tonight. Lift your voice and cry to him. In Jesus name. Please be seated. I want to say one more thing and then we will stand up and pray. So tonight we are here by the authority that is in the name and the lordship of Jesus to challenge afflictions, to challenge strongholds, to challenge altars, to challenge wicked spirits. I don't care how ugly they look. You know when they come in your dream, they make you afraid. That's cowardice, actually. Why must you make me afraid for me to fear you? <laughs> Unlike other spirits, God does not need to reveal, he doesn't need to make you scared, no. He comes, the, the most peaceful dimension of the presence of God is enough to compel worship. Now the devil will come in your dream and appear like a monster. Call him for who he is and command him to live. We are here to challenge everything that misrepresents the authority of God. Everything that misrepresents the grace of God in your life. And they must live. Hear me. Inside, outside, online. Hear me. They must live. Every situation has ears. They can hear. They can hear. They can hear. Did your Bible not say every knee shall bow? They also have knees. They must leave. Another thing that we are going to do tonight by the help of God is to minister deliverance to those who are ca under captivity. Let me say this in two minutes and we'll pray. I believe that most of what we go through or most of what a lot of people go through in life are actually sponsored by spirits. Even if it is a sickness, I believe that there are spirits of affliction. I believe that there are spirits of infirmities. I believe that there are spirits of poverty and lack. The Bible would describe them as locusts. Every kind of bad situation that human beings go through, I believe that behind those ugly situations are spirits. Satan's interest is to keep as many as possible bound is to keep as many as possible under captivity satan cannot reveal himself individually to everybody and so the system of bondage and yoke is the way he can capture people you know god is the only god that can reveal himself individually to you and then still reveal himself to another person differently satan does not have that capacity so what he will do is afflict 10 people with drunkenness he keeps them under that captivity 
because he doesn't have the capacity to reveal himself distinctively to everybody do you understand what i'm saying so when you see affliction when you see uh, uh, um, uh, addiction negative habits anything that keeps a man bound there are spirits responsible and we came tonight because god wants to challenge those spirits listen let me tell you the truth regardless of how long that captivity is whether it is the captivity of spiritual husbands and spiritual wives as i'm talking now the power of god is already moving here right now whether it is the captivity of spiritual husbands or spiritual wives whether it is the captivity of affliction you know sometimes you can be in such a warfare with the devil that you begin to develop a wrong intelligence that you need to engage in a long stretch of combat with the devil to be free it's not true are you hearing what i'm telling you the devil will so afflict a man will so keep a man under captivity to the point where he will make that man believe that it will take long battles before i can be free and so that man no longer believes that at the name of jesus every stronghold must come crashing down must fall like a pack of cards some of you have spirits that appear to you in your dreams some of you have demons that you battle with even physically i know of somebody before who will wake up from dreams and see physical marks on their body can i tell you the truth there is only one formula one formula that can bring an end to any form of captivity that formula is in the blood of jesus when jesus died and shed his blood listen to me as i'm speaking now when jesus shed his blood on the cross of calvary that blood did not only pay for your sin that blood also paid for your deliverance the blood is god's last card every time you introduce the blood i don't care the covenant that that spirit has been existing on i don't care the stronghold the limitation of your father's house i don't care the legitimacy of those spirits in your life every time you introduce the blood of jesus the devil knows that it is time to go and today we will introduce that blood there are age-long captivities that must fall today there are oppressions in dreams that must go today there are weights on people that must be lifted today there are chains that must break off the hands of people there are chains that must break off the hands of people there are chains that must break off the hands of people these two people for me i just saw something like fire descend on the hands of two people and something like chains breaking off now whether inside or outside bring them the power of god will rest on them i just saw chains i saw fire come on those chains broken right now that siege of poverty that siege of lack is coming down under the power of god right now bring them for me bring them for me i see i see those chains breaking and i'm prophesying on, on that that in the name of jesus christ every chain of darkness every chain of hell that has held bound the men and women of your family in the name of jesus those chains are broken now those chains are broken now. Those chains are broken now. You are glorious, so glorious. You are glorious, so glorious. You are glorious, so glorious. wait I said there are two 
Where's the second person? Bring them. Bring the person. Bring them. Now, I'm seeing Mahakrate Kobo Sokrata. I'm so happy that God wants to start with deliverance today. There are four people I'm seeing. The fire of God will come on them. I want you to hold them. Listen. This is witchcraft that I'm seeing. I'm seeing witchcraft and I'm seeing a shrine. Families that have been under the captivity of those powers. There are four of you. The fire of deliverance is coming at the count of four. Bring those four people for me now. It says, strangers shall hear my voice and obey. They shall come forth frightened from their hideouts. At the count of four, the fire of deliverance descends. One, two, three, four. Touch. Bring those four people for me. Let the powers of witchcraft be arrested. Let the powers of the shrine, the altars of shrine, be arrested now. I release the fire of the Lord. I declare that this is a day of deliverance. This is the day of liberty. Let go of that family now. Let go of that family now. Let go of them now. Bring them for me. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known within the glory of the Spirit of the Sovereign God, come and make your presence known. Reveal the glory of the Lord. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Hear me. I came with spiritual diagnosis from the Lord. That stubborn problem that you find in your family is sponsored by a spirit. It must go. Now just wait. Please be seated. Please be seated. Just be seated. Allow the ushers and protocol. Just be sensitive. The miracle service has started. I'm seeing in the spirit right now. And God will confirm what I'm seeing because his power will come upon two people. Wait. I'm seeing something like a rod, like a staff in the spirit realm. And I see the angel of the Lord take this staff and break it into two. This staff represents demonic priesthood in somebody's family as the angel of the lord is breaking that staff i'm seeing a strong man in your family that will go down when i say strong man i'm talking about a demonic individual and in 10 seconds the power of god will come on those two people to confirm what i'm saying father let this be the season and the day of their deliverance by the power of the highest let every strong man in your family go down now let every rod of witchcraft every rod of the powers of darkness that has stubbornly held sway be broken right now and let deliverance come to that family father confirmed by your power Touch those two people right now. Wait. Wait. No sound. Just wait. The two people, the power of God will hit them now. I saw the angel of the Lord snap those rods into two. Every strong man in your house will go down. Amen. Now, Father, let those two people that I saw, whose families this deliverance is meant for let your power so descend on them that they cannot hold it just be seated now you will see the power of God will touch them one of them is on this row
is breaking is breaking is breaking is breaking and every altar of hell we are going to pray this night oh enough is enough for the devil bring those two people bring them that that rod that staff that rod of the assyrian is breaking and a day of deliverance has come a day for release for liberty has come You can play for me now. Are you ready to pray this night? What's wrong? The mic dropped. It's like the volume dropped. Are you ready to pray this night? To receive glory, honor, and power. For thou hast created all things. For thy pleasures, they are away. Please, when you get them, bring them. There's a reason why I say bring them. All right? Their deliverance will be complete. Let me announce this before we stand up to pray. I'm seeing somebody, you are, there's an item of witchcraft on your body. You are holding something that you, you, you got from somewhere. It's like a charm. It's on your body. Come, I want to pray for you. Don't be ashamed. When we, either now or when we stand up to pray, there is something on you right now. It's a charm. It's, this is, I'm not saying you are a bad person, but maybe you were given somewhere or maybe it's part of your custom or something. You are having it with you. And I'm seeing a dark spirit that has been standing with you. God wants to set you and your family free. Wherever you are, come. Don't be ashamed. If you are ashamed, then you continue with your captivity. Come. You come now, or when I begin to minister and the fire of God descends, there are angels here. Oh. When the fire of God descends, it will expose you on its own. So you come so that I can pray for you. That thing that you, you are having on you, that you thought was for protection or was for anything good, that is what is responsible for the patterns, both in your life and your family. Come. God wants to deliver you. You are here. You are here. You are not online. You are here. I know what I'm saying. You are holding something. You, you are having something like charm that is on you. God loves you. He wants to set you free. Come. Are you ready to pray this night? There will be deliverances today. There will be deliverances today. And I'm, I'm announcing for the last time. I have seen you in the spirit. You are not fair. There is something on you. This is charm. It's not for your help. It's, act, it's actually supposed to destroy you. Come, God wants to set you free. The Bible says there is no other name under heaven given amongst men by which they can be saved satan can never be the source of salvation he can never be the source of deliverance there is no good that can come from the devil absolutely none not even the money of yahoo there's nothing good he's called devil because that's who he is d and evil doer of evil devil that's him he can never promise you anything good if the devil gives you 10 naira get ready he's collecting a thousand naira and he will collect it from you and from your children that's why god said i will contend with him that contends with you and i will save your children satan is wicked you think he wants to help you no he wants to bring you your children your children's children under captivity that's his job he's a slave master and today he must release families rise on your feet we are going to pray Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? You are the name above every other name. What can't you say? What can't you say, Jesus? You are able, you are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. Say you are able, great and mighty 
Spirita, you are able. Sing it one more time. You are able, able. You are the great man. Hey, you are able, Jesus. to me in the next two minutes i want you to lift your voice psalm 68 verse 1 it said let god arise let his enemies be scattered i want you to pray and say oh god arise in my life in my family shut up in my career in my finances arise and let your enemies be scattered First Kings 13. First Kings 13, verse 3 and verse 5. We are still praying. I'd like you to pray these prayers very well before I begin to minister. You are here tonight because God wants you free. Are you hearing what I'm saying? First Kings 13, verse 3 and verse 5. And he gave a sign the same day, saying, This is the sign which the Lord has spoken. Surely the altar shall split apart, and the ashes on it shall be poured out. Verse 5. He said, The altar also was split apart, and the ashes poured out from the altar. Listen, we are going to confront evil altars here. Altars of your father's house, your mother's house, people in your village, in your locality that serve idols that serve satan and have raised up altars and those altars are speaking evil against the destinies of men 
those altars will catch fire this night hey. are you ready to pray say after me in the name of jesus in the name of jesus all you evil altars all you evil altars in my father's house in my father's house in my mother's house in my mother's house from my territory from my territory in the name of jesus in the christ, name of jesus christ catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire be destroyed be destroyed open your mouth and pray in the name yes. of jesus Shake the pepper, please. Shake the pepper, pepper. Let us be the pepper, the the pepper, the pepper, the pepper, the pepper, the pepper, Two more prayers. We are still praying. The power of God is here, inside and outside. The power of God is mighty. Isaiah ten twenty seven. It says, it "Shall come to pass in that day that the that the burden of the Assyrian shall be taken away from your shoulder." and his yoke from your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed you are going to challenge every yoke every limitation over your life over your family for some of you over your career for some of you over your marital status there's been a yoke today let that yoke be destroyed by the anointing hey. now lift your voice in the name of jesus begin to confront those yokes Confront those limitations. Shake it, Papa. The power of the anointing. Shake it, Papa. Papa. Shake it, Papa. Papa. How long? Shake it, Papa. 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 Ah, 
Mighty name we pray. Amen. Last prayer, Micah chapter 5, verse 12. I tell you, you are leaving this place free. I tell you, I'm telling you. Some of you will literally see visions tonight about the deliverance that has come. Give us in King James translation, Micah 5 verse 12. It says, And I will cut off witchcrafts out of your hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. This last prayer is against witchcraft. I want you to demand that the fire of God be released anyone that is involved with witchcraft and is the reason for the oppression in your family let the fire of god bring judgment upon them open your mouth and pray open your mouth say at all open your mouth and pray he said i will cut up I In Jesus name of prayer. Lift your hands. We are going to worship God for just a minute. The power of God will descend in this place. Chains will be broken tonight. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man. Of war, you are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. Mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. Mighty man of war. Man of war. You are Jehovah. Lift your voice and declare, You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. Mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. Mighty man of war. Man of war. You are Jehovah. Come and raise your voice to clap. You are Jehovah. 
baciato Mai ne bene vado Mai ne bene vado says the reign of terror in your life, in your family is over tonight. The parade of darkness that has been held over your family for generations this day, the 3rd of March 2024 is your day of exodus is your day of deliverance it's your day of liberty. It's your day of freedom. Please lift your hands. I want to pray. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. My God, there are angels here. There are angels here. Let me start like this. Every altar of witchcraft. I stand by the authority of the name of Jesus. I challenge those altars now. At the count of seven, I command those altars to catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shout fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Altars of witchcraft, altars of sorcery, altars of darkness, help them, help them everywhere, inside and outside. Let those altars be destroyed now, be destroyed now, be destroyed now. If you get them for me, as I pray deliverance, anybody that comes under the power, bring them for me. Please, ushers, be very smart this night. Be smart. I'm still praying. Any human agent that is responsible for any cause or any reproach in your family, anyone that has sworn that you will never know peace, that you will never progress, that you will keep going in cycles, let the sword of God's judgment be released against them. I release the sword of judgment against them. Right now, I cut them off. I cut them off. I cut, I cut, I cut, I cut them off. I cut them off. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 
deliverance so allow me to just go the way the spirit of God is leading me right now God is asking me to command chains to be broken anyone that is under any form of captivity every chain around your life around your health around your finance around your marital settlement every chain around your career chains of darkness in the name of Jesus, let those chains fall off now. Let those chains fall off now. Let those chains fall off now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I set fire on those chains now. I set fire on them. I set fire on them. Fire. The fire that comes from the throne room. The fire that destroys. The fire that breaks weapons. That breaks iron. The fire that consumes. I set fire on those chains. Fire. 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 Inside and outside. I set fire on those chains. to pray one prayer just give me strings now now this prayer lift your hands please lift your hands when I make this prayer the angels of God will begin to move there are people listen there are people with satanic marks on their lives on their bodies some of them literally on their bodies you woke up from a dream one day and you saw a mark on your body or you woke up one day and saw mark on your body for some of you it's not on your body but it's on your life it's a mark of reproach it's a mark of shame it's a mark that makes you go in circles for some of you that mark is on your forehead please lift your hands i want to pray now father i stretch forth my hand inside outside all across this environment and online anyone with any satanic mark on their lives witchcraft marks on their bodies mysterious marks that has brought your life under oppression that has brought your life under affliction let the fire of god consume those marks now hear me don't shout amen just lift your hands just the strength God is showing me that as I'm praying, there are people that the, the fire of God will descend on them. Some of them will literally scratch their body. You will have to help them. Some of them will almost be tearing their clothes. Just please help them and bring them. All right? That mark will be destroyed. Lift your hands. Eyes closed, please. I stretch my right hand. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I delete those marks from your bodies. Yes, that's it. I delete those marks by fire. Don't say amen, just allow me. I delete those marks by fire. By fire. By fire. Those marks on your bodies, on your forehead. Marks of reproach, marks of afflictions. Marks that have covenanted you with demon spirits, with unclean spirits, with marine spirits. I set them on fire. I set them on fire. Bring them for me. Bring them. Outside, I set those marks on fire. I release the fire of God right now. Let those marks be deleted now. Bring them for me. Put down your hands. There's a woman outside. 
please bring her for me. There's a deliverance that God is doing on you and on your family. I see the angel of the Lord descend outside. The fire of God is resting on a woman outside. Bring her for me. There's a strong deliverance God is bringing in your family. And God will begin to judge evil from this night. There are two more people I'm seeing outside. Bring them for me. That fire, that fire is burning tonight. The strongholds of darkness will fall like a pack of cards. There are two more people outside. Bring them for me. I'm seeing them in the spirit. I release that fire now. I release, bring, yes, bring them for me. Please lift your hands one more time. I want to pray against delay. Every stubborn spirit that is responsible for delay, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. They will go this night. Delay in marriage. Delay in your career. Delay in your business. Delay of any form. They can't hide. Those spirits will go. I challenge those spirits in the name of Jesus. And as you shout that name of Jesus, let those spirits lose your life and your family. And go now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Let the spirit of delay depart. Go, go, go. Help them. Go, go. I rebuke the spirits of delay. Marital delay. Financial delay. Delay in settlement. Academic delay. I rebuke the spirits now. I command you go, 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 go. Go in the name of Jesus. Spirits of delay, go, 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 go. I see them going. Go, 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 go. I want you to shout that name, Jesus, again. I still see deliverance going on in the spirit realm. At the count of three, shout that name, Jesus. Demons are leaving families right now. Delay, the siege of delay is being broken now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Let them go, let them go, let them go, help them, help them, yeah, that's it. Let them go now. Let them go, your reign is over. Your time is over. You deserve the glory and the honor. <laughs> Bring them for me. We lift our voice in worship. We bless leaning the glory and the honor. Shh, just lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Shh. Can I go outside? I want to go outside. I want to rebuke. There's a spirit of lack and poverty. There are people outside that God wants to bring deliverance to them. Those of you outside, please lift your hands ready to receive. Listen. If the deliverance tonight is complete, many of the challenges around our life will naturally leave. I'm telling you, there are spirits responsible. Please lift your hands. Those of you outside, I'm coming to you. Wait. From this place, where I am, from this place, huh? All of you here, lift your hands. From here, and there's somebody that the hand of God will pick to this place. All right, here. Just lift your hands. 
lift your hands close your eyes this place from here down to this place I'm seeing chains I'm seeing a spirit like a snake are you hearing me lift your hands now father I stretch my hands let your angels move across this particular area anyone that is under the siege of darkness I declare be delivered now lift your hands be delivered now let the fire of God sweep every chain every reproach every obstacle of hell right now 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 I cut off those chains I crush that serpent right now. La habrando croto como si cabara dia manana habasi kaba. Ela macrovozikete. I want to go outside, but God is asking me to pray right now. Anyone that is under the spell or the covenant of marine spirits, this is your time. They come in your dreams. They are responsible for stagnation in your life. They are responsible for you going in cycles. They will come and sleep with you or they will come and misbehave with you help them the power of god is going to hit them right now any covenant you have with marine spirits not only in this place around the hall anyone that is in league with marine spirits i crush that covenant aha help them that's the power of god i cut off that covenant now by the blood of jesus and I command those wicked spirits, your time is up. Lift them. Lift them. Lift them. Lift them. You are going to hear the shout of a lady now. Lift them. Lift them. Lift them. That covenant is broken by the superior covenant of the blood of Jesus. By the superior covenant of the blood of Jesus. I crush that covenant. I command those marine spirits, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. I'm coming to those house right now. There's somebody, the deliverance, you will hear? There's a lady that will shout now. I'm seeing snakes. Get her to the front. There's a lady, the, the angel of God is visiting us here. There's a lady that will shout in the hall here now. You will hear a loud shout. It's a very, very massive deliverance. I'm seeing snakes. And I see God crushing the head of that snake. There's going to be a shout now in the next few seconds. There's a lady here. God is bringing deliverance to you. Those of you outside, lift your hands. Father, I come in the name and the power of Jesus Christ. Everything that looks like a chain. Outside, I'm praying for you right now. You came here to receive. In the name of Jesus. Let me start this way every yoke of poverty every devil of poverty of lack in your family help them every devil i command that devil to live right now i command that yoke to be broken now i will count to three i want you to shout jesus those chains will break those yokes will be destroyed right now i see the spirit of poverty living a family at the count of three, those of you out shall shout Jesus at the top of your voice. That devil must let you go by the power of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Yes, that's it. I command those spirits to I help them, they help them. I command that spirit to go. I command those yokes to break. Break, break, break. Break. Can I walk around? Can I walk around? Let those yokes be broken in the name of Jesus. The angels of God are working with me right now. Every yoke of darkness, everything that has held captive your family, I command it to break now. This is your deliverance. Help them, help them. This is your deliverance. Let the chains of darkness be broken. Let the chains of hell be broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I cause marine spirits. Those devils in your dream. I cause them right now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Break your hold of their lives. And I command you, let them go. 
In the name of Jesus. All of you on this first two rows, lift your hands. Just these two, these two seats. One, two on the three rows. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. This one is not deliverance. It's an anointing that God is bringing on somebody. From here like this. Straight there to the front. All of you lift your hands. I see, I see an anointing coming on someone. This one is not deliverance. It's an impartation of grace. Wherever you are, I stretch my hands. Let that grace come on you. Let it come on you. Let it come on you. Let it come on you. It's a new season. Let your authority be increased. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 There is a still sweet anointing in this sanctuary there is a stillness in the atmosphere oh come let there's somebody outside with a prophetic anointing wherever you are the hand of god will find you now you have there's a prophetic grace on you God is increasing the measure of oil on your life. Help, ah, <laughs> help them everywhere, outside, everywhere. Touch, 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 touch. A new anointing comes on you. There is a sin. God is doing something outside, I tell you. go come out of our body come out of our body come out at the count of three I break your covenant over our life let her go and never return one two three Let her be free. Thank God for the anointing. Somebody say, thank God for the anointing. Can we pray for the sick now? If you are sick, put your hand where the sickness is. Just make contact with the part of your body that is sick inside outside online please listen if you are sick in your body lay your hands where the sickness is make contact with that part of your body if it's a blood condition or it's in a very delicate part of your body put your right hand on your chest there's a gentleman you are here God is about to heal you now you should have left before now. You should have left before now. In fact, as I'm talking, you, you are already contemplating living now. There's a condition in your body, in your private part, that God wants to heal. You are a gentleman. You are thought of living before now. But God wants to heal you. Don't come out for social reasons, okay? We will get your testimony somehow, but we will not we'll find a way not to interview you. There's a condition. You are a gentleman. You are dark in complexion. 
there is a condition it has to do with your private part god is healing you now as i'm talking now god is touching you and setting you free if you are sick in any part of your body put your hand there make contact with that part we're about to pray if somebody is sick at home in the hospital somewhere and they are connected to you please call them with your phone if you can and leave it running i'm about to pray very quick and a simple prayer if you don't have credit to call put their contacts on your phone and just lift your phone up if you have their picture raise it up or if you can call them just let it be a form of contact i'm about to pray now let me pray for these ones outside in the name of jesus i present the receipt for their deliverance which is the blood of jesus christ every covenant with the powers of darkness let it be broken now and i set them free i set them free let the chains be broken take your hands off their life let them be free jesus mighty name we pray anybody that stands up you can allow them to go back to their seat clap your hands and give jesus praise amen can we stand now so that i can pray for the sick quickly you can't hide though <laughs> god is working here amen amen you know when you are ministering a miracle service you are just like a puppet i just lifted my hand and god said leave it like that and you see you see what's happening there i just lifted my hand god said leave it like that the secret is just to yield to him okay Let us pray for the sick now. Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary. Oh, is he? Can we pray now for the sick? I'm going to be very brief. Father, I stretch my right hand. Oh my God. Jesus, when you hung on the cross, it was for the healing of the nations. By the stripes on your back, your people were healed 2,000 and plus years ago. Right now, I pray in the name of Jesus. I take authority against the spirit of infirmity, against the spirit of affliction. I rebuke you now. I command you, come out of their bodies now. Come out of their bodies now. Come out of their bodies now. In the name of Jesus. There's a lady, you are feeling fire. You are feeling very hot on your lower abdomen. That's the healing power of God. You are feeling heat on your lower abdomen. God is touching you. God is healing you of that affliction, whatever it is. You are feeling heat on your lower abdomen. And right now, I declare the healing power of Jesus to flow across this place. Online, outside, and inside. I declare, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Let migraine headaches go in the name of Jesus. My grain headaches go in the name of Jesus. Pain of any kind be healed now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus be healed now. Sinusitis go in the name of Jesus. Asthma I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Pains around the joints be healed right now in the name of jesus let me hear your amen louder pains and weaknesses around the joints be healed in the name of jesus every condition with any organ in your body right now be healed in the name of jesus i command growths to disappear now unwanted growths disappear now in the name of jesus I command fibroids to disappear now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
let kidney stones be melted right now I saw somebody chocolate in color I see the Lord touching you on your left kidney your left kidney kidney stones be melted right now be melted right now be melted right now there's some of you there's somebody here God is touching you now God is healing you now and you are going to feel like urinating go to the toilet urinate and come back and give us a testimony should in case you are when you are urinating check your your rhyme probably there'll be something that you will pass out I see God touching you right now you'll feel like urinating use the restroom that is your deliverance that is your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ also be healed right now there's somebody God is healing your relative your relative of pneumonia pneumonia God is healing your relative of pneumonia in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for somebody's liver every situation that has attacked your liver in the name of Jesus Christ it lets you go now I declare your healing right now let the blood of Jesus flush every organ right now flush out every disease from your organs flush out every disease from your organs blood conditions I command you be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ let genotypes be changed from SS to AA from AS to AA from SC to AA in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know how to describe this but there's somebody you feel like you feel like there are stones at a part of your body you literally feel it like stones you feel as if there are stones in that place whatever part of your body it is let those stones disappear right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet I declare that you are healed I rebuke the spirit of death right now every ailment that I may not have mentioned whether you are here or you are following online I declare be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus I want you to shout amen three times number one number two number three clap your hands like Jesus he touched me he touched me and oh the joy that floods my soul something happened and now I know he touched me and me please check yourself right now if God has touched you if you've noticed an improvement or you've noticed that you are healed please rush to the front we want to take your testimony quickly inside at the overflow if you notice an improvement in your condition please run to the front the rest of you can be seated check yourself if God has healed you if you notice that you have been healed or the condition has improved please walk to the front clap for them they are coming I need I need people to get them here for me keep clapping they're already coming if God has healed you step forward quickly don't keep your testimony back outside God has touched you share your testimony before you go if God has touched you online please send your testimony to us let's know what God has done and let your healing be permanent please celebrate Jesus they are coming in their numbers if God has healed you please step forward Pneumatic, are you celebrating God at all? Outside, clap your hands. Jesus is doing great things here. He touched me and made me 
Lift your voice, sing one more time. He touched me. Hey. And now I know. Something happened. Something happened. God has healed, step forward. If you can be patient, this is miracle service, okay? If you can be patient, just give God time. There's still some things that we need to do before we go, alright? You came here tonight for God to visit you. So just be patient and allow God to do what he's doing. Don't rush home yet. Your case may be called up. Who is Ikena? Ikena. If it is either you or somebody connected to you, Ikena, come. Ikena, come. You or somebody connected to you. When I heard that name, Ikena, I also heard another name. I don't know if that name is connected to the same person. I heard Ifai. Come. We have not submitted prayer points yet, okay? Let's do this. Let me speak to one or two persons and then we'll pray on the requests. And then we are done for tonight, okay? This is miracle service. So I want you to be patient. There's no need to rush home. Some of you are not rushing home to go and sleep. Just sit down and allow God to visit you. All right? Once more, can we celebrate the Lord for what he's doing here? There's somebody with a mark on your body. You used to have this particular mark on your body. Check. It has disappeared. Check. So if you know you used to have a particular mark on your body, check. That mark has disappeared. God has just done a miracle. Check your body. That mark, if you need to go to the restroom, check yourself. It has disappeared. You know what I'm talking about. There's a mark on your body. This is satanic all right that mark has disappeared god has just done a miracle rush forward quickly it's important that we take your testimony let the people of god know that whatever we say here is by the leading of the spirit yes this one had two uncles one is ifai one is ikena, ikena. then this one her friend is ikena your uncle what one is Ifai. One is Ikena. The other one is Ikena. Yes, sir. Clap for Jesus. <laughs> Can I prophesy to you? Yes, sir. To them. Yes, sir. Of course, one is older and the other one is younger. Yes, sir. All right. This is. Um, I don't know, but I see them close. That is by way of their position in the family. By way of their position. Do you know them very well? Yes, sir. Good. By way of their birth position, I see them close. They are not far from e each other. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. Who is the older? Ifine. Ifine. Yes, Who sir. is the younger? Ikena. Ikena. Yes, sir. They are close together, isn't it? Yes, sir. Thus says the Spirit of the Lord that the spell that the enemy has used to cover their destinies Amen. listen not only Ifai and Ikena this is a deliverance God is bringing to all the males are you hearing what I'm telling you? yes sir not only Ifai and Ikena wait 
who does business? Who is into business? If Ikena. I Ikena is into business. Yes, sir. The spell of retrogression, of stagnation that the enemy has placed on all the males in the family. People keep going in cycles. Their best is not good enough. Today, because you came, that spell is broken. Amen. Prophecy for one is for all. If you are also connecting to it, shall they be amen. amen. Go back and tell them that the spell that the enemy has placed on the destinies of men over the family has been broken today. I see God giving Ikena. You say Ikena is a businessman. Yes, sir. But I see Ikena handling contracts. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I see a multi-million naira contract coming Amen. to Ikena. Let me tell you something. Please tell me if I'm wrong or not or not. If I and Ikena, one of them is light in complexion the other one is like uh, chocolate or dark in complexion yes, sir. is that true yes sir one is fair the other one is dark yes sir good this prophecy that i gave eh yes sir about multi-million naira contract i'm seeing it coming on the fair one amen who is the fair one ikena ikena yes sir. and that's the one doing business yes sir Are you surprised the way you are looking at me as if did you talk to me before this service no, did you sir. send me a text no, sir. i have two uncles their name is no, sir. clap for jesus this is not game so this is real can we continue but you want to go home amen my dear you stand stand here let me talk to you you said who is um ikena he's a friend ifain rather who is ifain ikena who is who is is he he's ikena a... from your family no he's a friend ah, ah. you said ikena now you say ifain no i said ikena you said what ikena. i'll leave you and go to another yeah. person are you ready yes, sir. are you okay did you eat before coming today you said ikena you said ifain you said, said ikena. ikena who is from your family no hmm? okay he's a friend called who? Ikena. Ikena, right? Okay, I want to talk to you. Wait. What tribe are you? I'm Ibu. Eh? Ibu. Uh -huh. I want to... This girl, do you want me to continue? The way you are looking at me... Have you seen me before? Have you spoken to me before? No, sir. You're looking at me as if I'm your boyfriend. <laughs> it's not by mistake I said that. Step forward. One step. I want to talk about your boyfriend. Can I go on? Yes, sir. You have a boyfriend. <laughs> eh? Ikena is my boyfriend. Ike Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Those of you outside shout amen. Do you want to go home? Do you want to go home? You are not shouting, so I will close here. Let's pray for you. Do you want to go home? The thing is just warming up. Okay? You thought I was you thought I was guessing. Listen, God is not a native doctor. Are you hearing me? He knows everything about us. She said, Ikena is my friend. <laughs> ah, can I pray for you? My dear, can I pray for you? I'm not embarrassing you. God is here to help you. Can I pray for you? I want to talk to you about Ikena. All right? Stand. No, just stand. No, he's not stand there. Face front. Face front now. No, face. I mean face there. Just face there. Leave me the way I'm touching you. Eh? Let me be touching you so that. 
I want to, God wants to help you. And I'll pray for you. Something's wrong with your body that God wants to fix. Alright? If I don't pray for you, you are taking drugs again and again for this thing. And very soon, I see them scanning you and saying there's something in your body. Alright? The sign is, there's a place in your body. I won't talk. I won't point to it. The sign to what I'm saying is that in that, that place now in your body, you, you usually feel pains again and again. Is that true? I don't want to go deep. Okay, so answer me very well. Yes, if not, sir. I will go deep. Go ahead. You think I'm guessing? No, sir. Okay, let me go deep. Let's talk, let's talk about you and Ikena. Okay, All right? God wants to help you. Listen. Your condition is what young ladies. What is going on? I want to. I'm gonna pray for Ikena. God is gonna bless Ikena. All right. But I want to pray for the relationship. All right. If not, this relationship is what is developing into what young ladies will call a situationship. Are you hearing me? There's turbulence now. There's trouble. Are you hearing me? Now, you see, God will show you mercy today because this relationship didn't start well. Are you hearing me? Now, I told you to answer me very well if you don't want me to go deep. You, th oh, you still think I'm guessing till now? No, sir. No, sir. The relationship didn't start well now. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? You people compromise. There are things you are not supposed to do as a believer that has been done. Is that true? Okay, it's not true. It's let me true. let me go. It's true. Okay. If I catch you laughing, I'm, I'll come for you. Don't worry, my dear. Don't mind them. God wants to help you. Am I saying the truth? Yes, sir. Good. I want you to answer me. I don't want to go deep. All right. Even though the problem is from there, but I will cover it. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. So that I will fix it. Now let me talk to young people who are in a relationship. Listen. Let me talk to you. As you are laughing at her, let me talk to you. Because you are guilty as charged. Listen. God will not bless what he didn't originate. God must be the source and it must go according to God's rules. Young people, are you hearing me? All of these, uh, in fact, all problem in relationship is not even the main thing. You get married and there's difficulty in conception, growth here, growth there, all of those things. When you check, sometimes it's because certain divine principles have been abused. For instance, if you are not yet married, why are you spending the night in your boyfriend's house? Now, you know I'm speaking prophetically. So don't alarm me. Don't just, I'm speaking. That's the way I said. <laughs> you are not married and you are going to sleep in somebody's house. It's wrong. I love you, but it is wrong. Are you hearing me? The only way, you see, if I compromise with you, God will not help you. Is wrong so if you are in a relationship and i'm not talking to you now okay i'm talking to them if you are in a relationship and you are here and you are still playing games see you came here because you want god to help you so you people should go back and repent before god and start that relationship on a new note otherwise you'll be deceiving yourself seeking prayers on what what is an abomination to god are you hearing what i'm saying we must try to ensure that the standard of holiness is kept. The Bible says being ready to punish every disobedience when you're obedient. There are demons that will not obey you if you compromise holiness. I'm telling you. There are demons that will not obey you if you compromise holiness. Come out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Wicked spirit. Come out of her. Look at that. See, see the way she's hitting her head. You think this is normal? somebody who dress like this makeup and come to it. look at look at the way she's hitting her head think i didn't see you come out of her wicked spirit 
if you like go back and report me to the other spirits out in the name of jesus i break your covenant with her by the blood of jesus look at that <laughs> you go go my dear god will help you i see the grace of god coming god is opening doors for ikena i see ikena has this is like a desire all right and by the grace of god god is about to open the door not too long from now and i see ikena outside of nigeria he's in the uk, eh? he's in the UK. he said what he's in the uk he's in the uk uh -huh. you think i was prophesying i know i'm confirming something wait i saw ikena outside okay your relationship with Ikena, did it start before he went out? Or he was there when he started? He, he was there when he, he was started. There when he started. Yes, sir. Now, this is... By now, something is supposed to have happened, okay? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Something like marriage is supposed to have happened with Ikena. There's a problem between the two of you. Let me tell you the problem from your end and the problem from Ikena's end. The problem from Ikena's end is twofold. Number one, it seems like he's draggy about it. Are you hearing me? And then so more like he's not sure or like he's slowing down. You know, he can say something with you today and tomorrow when you are talking, it will be like you people didn't discuss that thing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Good. Right now, he feels he's not financially buoyant, but even at his level, he's, he's buoyant financially, so finance is not a problem. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And then Ikena now, in his mind, dear, Ikena is thinking. In fact, he's even suspecting you now. In his mind. This one, do you know this one? Yes, sir. He's suspecting you in his mind. Like, is this guy going to wait for me? Or probably you already have other people you are talking to and all of that. Yes, sir. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That is the problem with Ikena. Your own problem is that it's two. The first problem before now. All I've been saying is it the truth? It's true. Please, if I say anything that is wrong, expose me here. Did I talk to you before coming for this service? No, sir. Do I have your number? Mm -mm. Do you have me on WhatsApp? Mm -mm. Did you send a message to me? Mm -mm. Okay, so let, let's continue. All right. Your problem is you don't trust Ikena. You feel that one day Ikena. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You want to go home? Huh? You want to go home? Can we pray for you? Do you want to marry Ikena? Do you love Ikena? Uh, eh? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm asking you that question because, listen, I want to pray for you. Ikena is not strong spiritually. Alright? But I see that your presence in his life, God is going to use you as a support system. Amen. Spiritually. That's why you have to be very close to God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. something is going to happen and i see ikena coming back to nigeria very soon are you hearing what i'm saying yes sir what i'm saying is it could happen this year all right ikena is making plans to come back to the country has he told you this yes he did he did yes, okay let me tell sure. you huh? but he's not sure but he's not sure nala is sure he wants to surprise you are you hearing what i'm saying yes, he sir. wants to surprise you something is going to happen next this year or next year ikena is coming back to the country and i see you people traveling to see your parents and i see a marriage Amen. coming up god is going to bless this marriage and from uk ikena is moving to another nation that's what i'm saying he has plans already on ground to move from the uk to 
another nation. Are you aware of this one? Yes, he told me. He told you. When did he tell you that? That was on last year. Huh? Last year. Last year. And I did did I meet you last year and you told me Ikena said Ikena wants to move. I see him communicating with PR companies. All right? They are trying to look for a job for him. All right? I'm seeing three options. I'm seeing North America, I'm seeing Australia and I'm seeing in Europe too. All right? But God is going to open a door. I see Ikena flying to Northern America. Are you hearing what I'm saying? This is going to be like Canada or something like that. And that's where God will really prosper him because he's not going to stay long in UK. God is going to open a door. God is going to fix this relationship. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Yes, sir. To prove to you that what I'm saying is by the Lord, in less than 24 hours from now, don't chat him up. He'll call you. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. So I want you to go back. Trust him. Don't worry. He's not a very good person, all right? But he has you at heart. He's not seeing anybody there. Including a former girlfriend in Nigeria. He's not seeing that one too. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So you go and pray. And I trust God that in 18 months from now, God will settle you maritally. Amen. And God will use you. Listen, God is going to bless you. Are you a student? Yes, sir. You are a student? Yes, sir. Good. But God is going to so bless you and he can now that the two of you will become the consolation for your family. Amen. Somebody shout a big amen to that. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. Did I say the truth to yes. the two of you? Yes, sir. Are you okay? Go back to your seat. Let's hear a few testimonies and then we'll round up tonight. Yes, Papa, sir. Sir, this is Rachel Matthew. Yes. She came in with a sharp pain under her abdomen. A sharp this, pain yes. under the abdomen. Yes, it has lasted for over a month. And but while the prayers was going on, she yeah. felt a release and she has been healed. She felt a release, yes, sharp sir. pain under her abdomen. Under her abdomen. Can you celebrate Jesus for that? <laughs> Were you the one that felt the heat I spoke about? Were you the one who felt the heat? On your lower abdomen yes sir you felt heat yes sir and after that the pain disappeared yes sir. celebrate jesus it will never return again oh, wait are you married yes sir you are married yes sir have you given birth to children i have four you have four children yes, sir. god bless you and bless your children amen where's your husband he's in this town he's, he's in this town yes sir i'm with him here with you yes can I talk to you? Yes, sir. God is going to bring the two of you closer. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. You will defeat the battles together. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. God is going to bring the two of you closer. Amen. Every plan of the enemy to cause separation is cancelled. Amen in the name of jesus amen and there's a financial door god is opening for your husband between now and middle april amen i'm seeing him signing something amen. are you hearing me like yes, a contract sir. yes sir in the name of jesus it is released amen clap your hands and give jesus praise yes who else is this is sister comfort sir yes she Pastor had... Henry, please can you can you help me with the other place there there has to be somebody there yes Go ahead. Who is there? Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, go ahead, sir. Last week, sir, she, she slept off and she had a twist on her ankle. Okay. And literally, the place was swollen up. Wow. But yes. now? But now, and she had been booked for an operation because they have to. She will. Huh? Okay, they, they are going to tear the place so that the blood will come out of it. Okay. Yes. The bad blood. Yes. And now, uncle? Now it has reduced and the pain Put is Put the off. camera on the leg. Let's see. It was supposed to be an incision was supposed to be carried out to drain the bad blood does that leg look like it is swollen can you clap and give jesus praise <laughs> holy god no look at the way you are clapping and see if you can perform one miracle <laughs> listen meduguri people learn to celebrate the miraculous huh it's not a right. You just sit there as if you can do everything yourself. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise for that. 
Amen. Father, we declare perfection to this healing. No knife will come on your leg. Amen. Go back and use it completely. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. What couldn't you do before with the leg? I went. I couldn't walk with it for long. If I'm walking, I'll be leaping. Okay. So I had to remove the flat, the high shoe and keep it there. Okay. Uh, run back and wear it now. God has healed you. Celebrate Jesus. Papa said, this is blessing Samuel. Yes. Five days ago, she has a chest pain, a sharp pain in her chest. Chest pain, sharp yes. pain. Yes. Five days ago. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. now? It has gone after the prayers. After the prayers, completely gone. Yes, sir. Healed and never to return. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Let's hear that testimony. Daddy, Let me hear you, Sister Debbie. Haskin Sati. She felt fire while you were ministering. Okay. And a pain on her lower abdomen as a result of an operation just okay. disappeared. So she had a pain on her lower abdomen yes. and felt fire. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Let me hear you. You said? Okay. I've been operated. This You've been operated before? In February. In February? Yes. And yes. then? So when I enter here, I have a wound small. Okay. As you are praying. And Pains also, are still there. But now? Yes. And the heart is uh, I have uh, a hard beat. Okay. Fast hard beat. And now no more. And when you are praying, I feel like fire. I start sweating. Clap for Jesus. It is gone forever. So the heart beat is no longer there. It's normal. And the pains around the operation scar is gone. Look at her pressing it like that. She was operated last month. You clap as if you can do one miracle. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. Papa, sir, this is yeah. Joy Joseph. This is our first time of coming to this service. First time being here. Yes, sir. Yes. While the deliverance prayer was going on for delay, she literally said she felt something leaving her. And right now she believes strongly in she's her heart that she's completely free. completely free. Can you clap your hands like you have lost your mind? Give Jesus praise for deliverance. Joy, come. This is your first time. Yes, sir. Somebody invited you? Yes. Who invited you here? My friend. Where's jo your friend? Joan. Joan. Where, where are you, Joan? God bless you, Joan. Joan Bismarck. Huh? Joan Bismarck. Joan, oh, Bismarck. Oh, God bless you, my dear. And now you're free. Go on. Lift your hands. To never return again. And now be filled with the Spirit of God. Your life will be a sign and a wonder. Help her. The power of God is on her. Your life will be a sign and a wonder. And everything that the enemy has kept on pause is resumed again. In Jesus mighty name see why it is good to invite people God bless you Joan amen father we thank you yes sir yes sir uh, at the cost of the service you mentioned that someone was going to go out and urinate uh -huh. so the moment she went out to urinate the uh -huh. pain she used to feel at her back and her front Completely has been disappeared clap your, clap your hands and give left Jesus side praise. left side right? the left side Left side, left completely side. gone. Completely gone. Could never return in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. yes Daddy, Let is, me hear from this mommy. This Go ahead. She said she felt pain. Okay. While she felt a pain. pain on her lower abdomen. All right. But while you were ministering, it was going down towards her leg. Uh -uh. So I asked her to sit down. And okay. she said now she feels better. And is the pain still there? I'm feeling, huh? better. I'm feeling better than before. Better. But no more. Better. Let me lay, no. let me let me let me touch her. Let me touch her. Hold my hand, Mama. Permanent. And God gives you peace. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. Amen. Are we blessed tonight? I'd like you to um, let the ushers send the offering basket round. Quickly, we are going to collect our prayer points and requests and pray on them. And then I'll make an altar call and we are done tonight. So once the basket gets to you, just drop your prayer request. 
you should have written them by now if you have not please write it very quick i want us to do this in less than five minutes ushers please be smart and be very fast make sure you collect the request of those outside those of you outside you are part of this service thank you for your patience submit your request on this mountain we have seen god do incredible things again and again almost on a weekly basis we keep hearing testimonies of mighty things that the lord does tonight you are about to witness god move in your situation your request represents the challenges in your life that may not have been spotted by the man of god but as we pray on them tonight god is releasing his angels from heaven god will bring deliverance over families god will bring divine visitations in the name of jesus christ please pass the offering basket quickly get your requests submitted we are going to pray there is power in your name miracles happen in your name we lift our voice to praise it's you that i see it's you that i see oh there is power power in your name Miracles happen in your name. We lift our voice to say, It's you that I see. It's you that I see. There is power. your head to the sole of your feet God has healed you now yes all over your body you will sense the touch of God right now I see the angel of the Lord pouring something on you all over your body I don't know what it is but all around your body I see God fixing your health 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 I see God fixing the power of God is here now I see something like a wind blowing across this place inside and outside there are four people that God is placing an anointing on the Bible says in Ezekiel 37 verse 1 the hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me in the spirit I see that wind blow God the spirit of God is lifting people right now it's an anointing that will transport you to a higher dimension in the spirit take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now I see that wind just blow across this place now bring the request let's pray on them quickly Make sure you have submitted your request. Bring it. Let's pray on them. I wish this was an all night. You will not believe that I'm not tired. I'm just warming up. Amen. But we have to close. Amen. There's a lady outside. In the next 30 days. 
oh the holy spirit corrected me in 28 days there's a breakthrough a financial breakthrough coming for your family yes there's a situation in your family if god does not move urgently it's going to bring embarrassment you are a lady you are outside god said in 28 days that means between now and the end of this month right today is third 28 plus 3 is 31 you are outside i prophesy to you let the grace for the performance of this word rest upon you you are outside your family will not be put to shame god is opening that financial door and anyone that is in this place trusting god i understand the economy i know what is happening but i want to release this grace anyone that is here trusting god for a breakthrough in finances as a matter of urgency may the angel of the lord over this commission be released for your sake and between now and the end of this month come back with a testimony come back with a financial testimony in the name of jesus christ there's a young man here you are in the hall God says there's a contract, a lucrative contract coming to your table. I see you signing a contract this month, not next month, not May, not this month. I see you signing that contract. You will come back here and testify. And if you don't come back and testify, they will revoke the contract. So you'll come back here and testify. Shout amen to that now. Why are you looking at me? Ah. When ten lepers were healed, one came back. And what did Jesus say? Be made whole. When you come back, you seal it. You don't want to testify because you don't want to drop prophet offering. Nobody needs your prophet offering. It's you that needs the you need the hand of God. Amen. You are in this hall, you are a young man. I see you signing a contract. I don't know if this is a job or a business. But a very, very lucrative contract is coming your way this month. In the name of Jesus. Can we pray on this request? Stand on your feet. I'd like you to stretch your hands. If possible, hold the hand of your neighbor. Stretch your hands towards this place. If possible, hold the hand of somebody. And agree. Stretch your hands towards this request and say, Lord, we believe you for now miracles. We believe you for speedy answers. Lift your voice and pray. I've been the one preaching. I'm the one that should be tired. You have not been preaching. So lift your voice and pray. Your request is here. So pray like you want God to visit you by this time tomorrow. We believe you for speedy answers. In the name of Jesus Christ. We believe you for speedy answers. In the name of Jesus Christ. We believe you for testimonies. 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 We believe you for breakthroughs. We believe you for divine visitations. Please pray. Just 60 more seconds. Please lift your voice and pray. Let God hear you. Let families testify. Let individuals testify. Lift your voice and pray. Sharabate prokoto basipa teke palagra teke pasudia ika prada laga baradise. Play. Give your volume. Jero koposia. Siklo protokosia. There's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord. As the waters cover the sea, in Jesus' name we pray. Let me do this quickly, please. Can I have the ministers come, please, sir? Pastor Prince will come. Pastor, um, Reverend Adi, please come. I want us to agree together. The month of March for this year is the month where you have Easter. And in Easter, what we celebrate is the Passover. 
the Passover was the day the children of Israel left Egypt they came out of bondage they came out of oppression I believe God that this month is your season for an exodus I want to join hands with them and we'll pray listen no testimony should go beyond this month are you hearing what I'm saying please stretch your hands to the altar father in the name of Jesus we agree together we ask that you arise we speak over this test this this request and in the name of Jesus we declare that they are converted to testimonies we declare that they are converted to testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ we agree for divine visitations over families over businesses over careers over individuals let your miracle come this month in the name of Jesus Christ everything that was lost is restored everything that was stolen is returned everything that was delayed is released I said it is released in the name of Jesus Christ under this corporate anointing we call for manifestations we call it done in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen thank you sirs you can sit down clap your hands and give Jesus praise amen now let's be upstanding let me make an altar call before we close thank you for your time and your patience normally we don't close this late except in a miracle service inside and outside please can you stand no movement anywhere i want to give an opportunity for those who must receive jesus as their lord and their savior please let's reverence this moment and just um, stop movement allow only the ushers and the protocol if you are here you want to say yes to jesus you've seen all that god has done you've heard the word of god you want to say yes to him as your lord and savior i like you wherever you are to step forward quickly or you want to rededicate your life to jesus you want to be serious with the lord wherever you are step forward you are here you are struggling with an addiction you are struggling with something in your life you want god to help you wherever you are step forward i'm going to count up to 10. please don't wait to be the last don't be ashamed salvation is a matter of destiny at the count of 10 please make your way to the front one two they are coming from outside and from inside celebrate jesus as they come three four don't wait for the last person don't wait to be the last run to the altar run to jesus five six jesus is calling you to a new life seven eight Nine. Keep coming, Jesus is calling you. Hallelujah. I know you will sing. Stretch your hands to them. Let's pray for them. Now now stretch your hands there's one more person that needs to be here i'm seeing you you're a man come jesus is calling you while you are thinking it in your heart come come and join them quickly surrender to him today you are a man i'm seeing you there's one more person step forward and join them stretch your hands towards them and pray for them those of you in front, please put your right hand on your chest and I want you to repeat this prayer after me. I want you to be serious with this prayer because your life is about to change. You are standing in the presence of Jesus. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I can't hear you. Say, Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I believe that you died and rose again for my salvation today I confess you as my Lord and Savior thank you for saving me 
and I declare that I'm yours now and forever in Jesus name please keep your right hand on your chest keep your left hand lifted father I stretch my hands towards these ones by the authority of the scriptures I declare that their sins are forgiven I declare that they are born again seal them with the seal of your spirit anoint them with your hand let the power of sin Satan death hell the grave be broken off their life let the power of witchcraft be broken off their life let every addiction every stubborn addiction be broken off their life fill them with your spirit let them serve you all the days of their life now you just wait there are two of them that i see the hand of god come on what i'm seeing you are going to be used by god in ministry there's an anointing coming on you just help them there are two help that lady god is going to use you in ministry i see the hand of god on you that anointing is for your consecration yeah that anointing is for your your calling begins today they will serve you all the days of their lives jesus precious name we pray amen touch that lady can you stretch your hands towards me two hands your two hands just like you receive something like you want to receive something father let the weight of your glory rest upon her god is fixing your life this season i don't know but god is doing a quick walk receive that grace receive it in the name of jesus christ your life will never remain the same god jehovah is doing a quick walk a quick walk even in your body i see god touching you no more frequenting doctors no more frequent afflictions jesus mighty name we pray and amen and amen I'm, I'm not done with them i see god breaking a curse from the household of somebody here father show me that person lay your hands on them from your father's house that curse is broken by the power of the blood of jesus among these ones in front in the name of jesus christ yeah that's it god is amazing in jesus name we pray clap your hands for them <laughs> hallelujah amen can i talk to you sir the forces of your father's house will not stop you amen. do you hear me no take the mic off you are limited now the enemy has placed limitations around your life but as you walk out of here god is giving you speed god is giving you elevation all right everything that has kept your destiny under the cover of darkness you feel it sometimes you feel this strong like a lead covering you aha uh -huh. but god gives you breakthrough today are you hearing me and in the days ahead through the place of prayer and intercession god is going to use you to pull down altars from your father's house do you hear what i'm saying sir is that true in jesus name we pray God bless all of you for making this wonderful decision. Listen to me. I want you to just turn to your left. There's a lady waving her hand. Turn to your left and look at her and walk straight to her. Our counselors will have a word with you and then you are done with the service. Clap for them as they go. Pneumatic, if you are blessed tonight, celebrate Jesus. I said give the Lord a big hand and shout of praise. Shout like you know the victory is yours. Hallelujah. Were we blessed tonight? You know, I've been standing here since a few minutes to five. This is three hours now. When I say shout, you are shouting as if you are the one standing here. Now this year you will experience supernatural speed. You know, I wanted to say strength, but God interrupted my speech and said speed because of somebody. I'm prophesying it to you again. Experience supernatural speed. 
in your destiny in your career may God give you the speed of an eagle in the name of Jesus Christ hear me this is the final blessing many of you left so many things to be here you were patient to stay till the end that is how God will not rest until he finishes his work in your life I call for helpers into your life hey two of you stay here and wrote to me hold your hand shout help us ah, you don't want to shout say help us come God is sending destiny helpers to the two of you that's what I saw in the name of Jesus Christ somebody is going to take up or you want me to tell you in private somebody is going to take up a huge bill in your wedding preparation somebody is going to take it up and let me prophesy to anyone who is trusting God to settle down this year strangers will appear from nowhere and take care of your bills you will be the one to look for bills to settle in the name of Jesus Christ. In Isaiah 43 verse 4, the Bible says, Because I have loved you, I will give you, I will give forth men for your life and people for your sake. Prophecy to one is for all. Those of you that are intending to settle down this year, first of all, I declare it done. And then the finance, the resources, we call it into your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that looks like a reproach around your life is coming to an end this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me? The Lord said you will not see shame. Yeah. I see God taking care of people's rent. People's rent. Rent. You will not see shame. Help that woman there. You will not see shame. I punish shame from your life in the name of jesus christ some of you have been calling and trying to reach out to people who will help you stop calling them after tonight they will be the ones to call you listen god spoke to elijah he said go to the city of zarephath for there i have commanded a widow to sustain you for some of you you may not be having access to divine provision because you are not where God has commanded for your sustenance but because you came here tonight may the wind of the Holy Ghost catapult you to your place catapult you to your appointed place some of you that are supposed to be in Abuja may the wind of the Spirit catapult you to Abuja to Lagos to Calabar to UK to Australia, to South Africa, to the United States. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I saw two people come back here with a testimony of a scholarship. I mean a scholarship abroad, oh, a scholarship abroad. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that you are an overcomer. Hear me? You will go back and challenge your challengers. By the anointing of God that is upon your head today, you will go back and pursue your pursuers. He said, Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over. I place an anointing on your life. Let that oil flow on your head tonight. And I declare, begin to produce extraordinary results. Produce extraordinary results in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that everyone trusting God for divine visitation, let this moon be your moon. May God visit your spiritual life. May God anoint you afresh. May your prayer life soar like that of an eagle some of you this month you will hear the voice of God for yourself 
the voice of God that will bring divine direction is coming to you this month. You will not escape it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every family that is experiencing crisis, tonight the Prince of Peace is coming into your home. Anyone that the devil has manipulated in your family that is the object of the crisis, the peace of God is coming upon them tonight. Anything that was lost is restored. Anything that was stolen is returned. In the name of Jesus Christ, go forth and excel. Go forth and prosper. And I pray for you that in, this, in the midst of this economy, for those of you in Nigeria, while men say there is a casting down, for you it will be a season to rise. What is swallowing others will be for your rising. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God bless the works of your hands. And I pray for you that in this season of wickedness, of kidnappings, of terrorism, of killings, that your life is preserved. Those of you that travel by day and by night, by air and by land, your life is preserved. That of your family members is preserved. The Lord is asking me to say this finally. I declare there will be no kidnapping of your family members this year. From now to the end of this year, we banish kidnappers from your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, your money will never be used for ransom. At the same time, you will never bury anybody. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. And be gracious to you.